I come to you today as a total mess. Okay, so this is like an intro from the future past past future. I feel like last week's vlog and this week's vlog, which would technically make it next week's vlog, are all going to be a little bit jumbled up. I feel really bad that there was no vlog up this past Monday, but last week's filming just got all kinds of messed up, like, because I ended up filming a follow me around video last week instead of making it part of the vlog, like, oh, like, I'm in Ikea. Do you know what I mean? And then I ended up cutting last week's vlog shorts. I can't remember if it was on Thursday or Friday because I knew that I was gonna do a Swamp Family mail video and those videos take hours for me to film and hours and hours for me to edit. And so I didn't want to be like having too, too much footage to edit all at once. I was watching the footage and I was not that thrilled with what I filmed last week for this week's vlog. I hope this is not just, this is, I, I feel like my brain is literally scrambled today. You guys, in all honesty, I had probably the worst panic attack that I can think of in a very long time today. And it just kind of like, like I really got nothing accomplished today, which was pretty disappointing because I had a lot of goals. Like definitely right now, you know, this whole month, I've really just been working on a lot of cleaning and organizing and getting rid of storage units. And I'm working on some bigger projects right now that I hope are gonna come to fruition. And so there's just been a lot of like organizing and brainstorming with those things. And so it's just like, I kind of was at a crossroads where I was like, do I just not upload any of the footage that I filmed last week? Do I upload some of it? So this is what it is. Uh, I decided that something was better than nothing and I did do a couple of cute days of filming so I thought I would just kind of like make this vlog and then sort of, I don't know, just kind of like tell you guys what's going on basically. I don't know, in a lot of ways I do kind of wish that I did do daily vlogs instead of just trying to cram it all in one week because, you know, with like six days of vlogging, if I cut it down to only filming 10 minutes every day for six days, like that's still an hour long video. And like I've always said kind of in the, you know, since I started this process, like a lot of you guys love 60 minute long, hour long videos. And I also do get a lot of people saying that they really don't like it or just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, a, it's it's basically di divided 50-50, but I feel like it would be absurd to upload like a vlog video every day on top of like just like not being just a vlogger do you know what i mean and i also feel like that's kind of what has interfered with a lot of the vlogs last week and this week's filming is i've been filming a ton of regular videos for you guys because one of my best friends sydney is coming in today actually because it's already of course 3 20 in the morning that's when i film everything so she's coming in later tonight and we are going to accomplish a lot of things and do a lot of creative projects and i don't know i'm just excited you know it's always nice to have a friend in town she's gonna be here i think for like a week and a half and so i knew that i wasn't gonna have as much time to like sit down and film and edit and upload and do like all the things that i normally do so i have sort of been like getting videos pre-filmed and pre-edited to go up over the next week and a half i don't have it all done you guys it's just been so stressful huge panic attack today that was not fun i started like freaking out and being like oh my god am i gonna have to go to the hospital and then i feel like that just like made my anxiety so much worse because if you know anything about me then you know that it is like medical things which usually cause my anxiety to begin with and so i don't know if i just like got overheated today at first and i was just like moving around too much and like kind of outside where it was like really kind of a warm day today and i don't know if i was just like dehydrated and overheated but i started feeling just like so bad and then i started panicking about like hospitals and emergency rooms and all kinds of stuff like that and then i just felt like i got worse and worse and worse so dogman and i ended up taking a monumentally long walk today we walked almost five miles and i came back home and i was able to just like take a little nap and i started to feel quite a bit better and calm down but as any of you 
guys who struggle with panic attacks and everything know that pretty much once you've had a panic attack, you're just like done for the rest of the day because I just feel like so exhausted and drained and like worn out and like just physically like like kind of beat up, you know what I mean? Definitely probably should just be asleep right now, but I'm not. I have a lot of PR packages that I should open hopefully tomorrow. I'm hoping I can do that tomorrow afternoon. Oh my gosh, also we've been having some crazy weather here. Like the other day we lost power, which was another reason that I just kind of felt like, like just giving up on editing this week's last week's vlog whatever um because we just like lost power randomly for i don't know like three or four hours and i just i couldn't charge the laptop and i was just like what am i gonna do i'm starting filming today so that would be wednesday so i'm starting today um like vlog footage now so once again it should be like a shorter one because i'll just be filming like wednesday through saturday for this week but i set out a time lapse camera because we are supposed to get some more crazy weather this morning and like the possibility of hail which might be exciting to capture on a time lapse camera and that's maybe like, I don't know, maybe that's like a weird thing to say, to be like, I hope it hails. Ooh, destructive weather. Maybe let's hope we don't get hail. From a strictly filming standpoint, I think it would be cool to see like time-lapse hail. Can I just say that and not sound creepy? Other than editing and filming, I have just been sucked into the world of K-dramas, which if you follow me on Twitter, you know, I've just been like, oh, like tweeting about it. Because so far, okay, I'm on my third one now. I watched Nightmare High. That was the first one that sucked me into this black hole. And then I watched, what was the second one that Dogman and I watched? Hello, My Twenties. Uh, we both loved that one. And then I saw Boys Over Flowers. And I was like, oh, like I tried to watch the first episode at first. And I was like, this is too cheesy. Like even for me. But then... I just got sucked into the cheese, okay? And now I'm just swimming in pools of Velveeta and I have not felt this like invested and engrossed and like just like disturbed, like emotionally, emotionally invested in a TV show since I don't know when. I feel like it's ridiculous. Like I almost want to stop watching because you watch it and like episodes one through 13, it's like kind of a roller coaster, but it's like a roller coaster that you'll want to be on. And then from episode like the beginning, I can't remember if this beginning of episode 13 or 14, no spoilers, but I don't know where it all goes downhill but suddenly it all goes downhill and you just kind of don't want to watch it anymore. Like I'm in this point now and there's 25 episodes and I'm at this point now where I'm just like, do I just stop watching this show? Do I just stop watching this show and pretend that it ended in like a semi good place? Because this is just horrible. And if there is not a happy ending, okay, I demand a refund, Netflix. You shall see. I think I'm gonna take like a couple days break because I, I literally watched two episodes last night. I stay up till like seven in the morning just like watching this show and I'm just like, what is earth? I don't know. But at this point, I'm just kind of like watching it to get to the end to find out what happens. Also, LOL at my shirt because it says totally boring, normal human. And it's supposed to be like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got this from Disturbia and it's hilarious to me. Hilarious. And I got some sort of makeup on it. Look, I'll show you guys what a what a sloppy pig I am. Because I got some sort of makeup. I think it's lipstick. I was like cleaning up my vanity area a little bit today. Can you guys see this stain? Like hot pink stain. And this is the first day I've ever worn it in my life. Seriously, what is earth? Also, I drank an entire bottle of water today. I'm shooting for bottle of water number two before I go to sleep because... I feel like I'm probably still de dehydrated. Enjoy the rest of my semi-lame vlog, which I think I only vlogged really for about three days last week, but I just wanted to show you guys the intentions are there. I have not abandoned this project already as I am notorious for doing, uh, but there you go, there you have it. I love you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm recording. I forgot to turn on all the I forgot to turn on all the lights. 
Hopefully this camera is gonna focus and be so much better. Today is Monday. It's technically already Tuesday. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's 2.28 in the morning. Honestly, I'm exhausted, so it's technically Tuesday. Technically, I missed all of Monday, but that's because I spent all this Monday getting last Monday's vlog video up. I had so many crazy editing snafus and exporting snafus, and I was so scared that my computer died today. It turned off mid-export of last week's vlog, and it would not turn back on for like 15 minutes. I thought I'd lost like the entire hour long vlog I just edited. I didn't know what I was gonna do. All day today was spent working on last week's vlog so I feel like I'm a day behind and I'm really just tired. I actually exercised today for the first time and I don't even want to admit how long but I did a lot of walking and I did some cycling and I did a little bit of like actual like fitnessy type swimming so I'm pretty worn out. Today I ended up getting quite a few PR packages in the mail so I thought we would go through some of them. We might not go through all of them because I'm exhausted as just foretold. I'm gonna start doing little bits of swatches of the new products that I get as well because I feel like that would be helpful and better than just being like, oh, look at this. And every week that I've done the vlog so far, you guys have really overwhelmingly seemed to like these little PR segments. So there we go. And every day I sit down to vlog and I look at this clear, I keep wanting to call it silly putty, but this clear slime. I hope I finally get around to doing something with this stuff this week. First up on the PR list today, I got four new sugar pill lipsticks from their brand new Pretty Poison collection. Oh my gosh, and look at these lipstick tubes. They look like little glittery, glittery pill capsules. Oh, I feel like I can't talk when it's like three in the morning and I'm trying to be like, brain, work. There are the swatches. The first one, the black matte color, that's called Zero. Very uh, kind of vibrant plum color, I would say, which is called Dark Sided. That's a matte as well. And then the next one is this beautiful sort of oxblood color, which is called Anti-Socialite. And then the last one is Shiver, which is a bright blue metallic. The next things that we're gonna swatch are these lippies, which are the new melted mattes from Too Faced. First green one, very appropriately, is named Wicked. And this next one, uh, which is kind of like a ballet slipper pink, is called Holy Chic. And this one is called Wine Knot because it's a wine color. Up next, we have this very vibrant lavender, loving it. That one's called Jawbreaker. And then up next, we have Suck It. Isn't that pleasant? Uh, and then lastly, we've got Granny Panties, which is the color that I was most excited about when I saw this collection. And I think I'm most excited about it because it looks very, very similar to Texas Toast. If I do, if I do say so. So I just swatched my very own lippy right here on the end. So you guys can see Granny Panties is definitely much more of a purpley color um, than Texas Toast. Up next, we have a new bunch of products from Urban Decay. And honestly, I saw that I was getting a box from Urban Decay today and I almost like, <gasps> flipped out because I know that they are coming out with a Basquiat collaboration collection. I don't think it comes out until April, but I'm literally waiting with bated breath for that collection to come out. I feel like that's the most, I'm more excited for that collection than I've been for any other like palette or collection in a very long time. I love Basquiat, I love Andy Warhol, so, I'm just gonna have to go out and buy all of that. But these are the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Lip Top Coats. I'm very excited for these because 
I don't have anything like that in my collection yet, so this will be, but I've always been very curious about them, so this will be fun. And I also love these little patches that they sent. Look at the applicator. It's not what I was expecting at all. It's a very fine tip, uh, like an eyeliner applicator. It's really hard to swatch these, I'm not gonna lie. Like it kind of just looks like I'm putting um, glitter on my hand, but I feel like definitely you know, they're supposed to be toppers. So you're just supposed to apply them on top of another lip color. So the blue color is called Ritual. The middle kind of peachy color is called Fever. And the green color is called Circuit. I'm not sure if it's appearing very green on camera. It almost looks to be like some sort of charcoal. Up next, really quick, we are gonna take a look at this mysterious mask box that showed up in my P.O. box now for a couple of months. I really like it. This is not sponsored. The past two boxes that I've gotten, I've really liked everything about it. The packaging and the wrappers have really been so cute. Last month for February, we got heart paper on the inside because it was for Valentine's Day. This month, oh, ooh, we got black and white stripes. But they do always give me uh, a 20% off code for you guys. Once again, no commission on this. I've not had one discussion in my life with these people. This is just a coupon code, just in case you care, but it's bunny20 and you get 20% off of your first box. Here are the stacks of face masks that we got this month. And the first one says seven days mask lemon, the intensive bounce ampule mask, smart solution nourishing mask, the Skin Rescuer, once again, really love this packaging, even though it's so simple. A Deep Whitening Mask, Moisturizing, isn't that cute? Clear Coating Hydrogel Mask. Also in the face mask department, I got a super sneak peek at two new Glam Glow masks, which I guess are not gonna be out until the fall, but they are in celebration of the new Power Rangers movie. They are Gravity Mud. So if you guys remember, they came out with a blue Gravity Mud. It was the same Gravity Mud as the silver one, except for the actual stuff was pigmented blue in celebration of Sonic the Hedgehog. So they've done it again, and it is for the two villains from Power Rangers. So this one and I die, you guys. It is green, and it's for the reptile villain. And then this one is for Goldar, and it is, of course, gold. Uh, very, very gold. The last PR package that I got today is from ColourPop, and boy, they sent a bundle today. So I think that this is a combination of several different launches that they are about to have. They are coming out with a sand collection and a pink collection. And I don't remember if there was another one. So this is called Double Play. And I don't remember if this was last week or the week before, but we saw another highlighter bronzer kit. This one is called Done Deal. And this looks like it is a blush and a highlighter. This one is called Heavy Hitter, and I'm really liking these little simplistic packages that they are coming out with. Pressed um, pigment eyeshadows, and I bet that this would be part of the sand collection. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's blue. Uh, it's not blue. Uh, I was like, oh, it's red, but maybe it's more pink than that. And I need to get a Z palette, like desperately, because they keep sending these cute little pressed single shadows like this but right now they're just sitting in a drawer because I don't have a magnetic container to, um, you know, put like loose pans of makeup in. Why did I just do quotations? These are loose pans of makeup. We have a Super Shock Cheek as well in Forget Me Not. That is a very beautiful shade. I don't even feel like the camera and the lighting is doing it justice. It is like, whoa bam in person. That's Amazing. There is the shade range of all of the new lippies. So some of these are the satin lips and some of them are mattes and I don't think any of them are glossy. That is Birdie. That's the one lippy stick with the complimentary lippy liner. And you guys, I'm not even gonna stay and talk for a really long time tonight because I am exhausted. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this. I said I'm not gonna stay. 
here I am staying. I will see y'all tomorrow. We have a ton of errands to run. Hopefully I'm gonna get to take you with me. Uh, we're actually gonna go to Ikea tomorrow and I'm hoping that they're gonna let me film in Ikea. I don't know what the rule is with that, the lay of the land there. So wish me luck because I think that would be fun to put in the vlog. So I love you guys and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We just picked up some mail and look at what came today. It's meme Kermit. And thank you so much to the Swamp family member who found this one listed on eBay for $60 because you guys, I have wanted one of these for so long. Sad Kermit is definitely one of my favorite memes of all time. This is what I've been doing all day. Once again, is going through storage units. So I found a lot of my old shoes, which I'm so excited. Unif shoes all wrapped up. A lot of my really old Jeffrey Campbell shoes so excite and a lot of these boxes are going to be donated tomorrow they are my old clothes that I don't wear anymore and then this one box is of keepers and I found some of my pretty cool old clothes today let's see if I can look in the bottom of this box of shoes oh my gosh look I got these in LA I feel like these were in my thousand year old LA vlog. These are some really awesome Doc Martin boots that I haven't seen in a thousand years. My cute little pirate loafers. Oh, you guys, I might need to get rid of some of my shoes, honestly. Happy Thursday. And Thursday is a magical day because it is the day when we upload our Swamp Family playlist. And I think I might change the name of the playlist because it's honestly sounded very bleak for weeks now. So far it's been called, uh, we've made it through another week, I think. And I'm just kind of like, ugh, I don't know. It's suddenly starting to sound kind of disturbing and tragic to me, but I will link it to you guys down below. We have been doing this playlist for over a month now. And every Thursday I add at least 10 new songs and I don't know why I just interjected that right here in this clip because I was planning on showing you guys my first cute outfit in like two weeks. It's astounding, but I actually took time out to do Yes, that's what I was trying to say. I actually took time out to do my hair and my makeup and all of that kind of jazz today. I've got a lot of extensions in my hair. Right now, it's making me very happy because I feel like I have my full graveyard girl black and blonde hair aesthetic. And I don't know what it is. It just makes me feel so much more like myself. I feel like the more black streaks I have in my hair, the happier of a person that I become. What's up with that? The other thing that has happened before I show you guys my full outfit is I have got to recommend a new Corpse Husband video to you guys. I was listening to it as I was doing my makeup. It's like an hour long video, but the first story, like it actually, oh, like it, it kind of made me feel sick because it was so scary to me. And I know that these are supposed to be like classic stories or like popular stories that are scary from Reddit or like the best scary stories. I don't remember what the video is called, but if you like really, really, really shockingly frightening uh, videos, then you're gonna love this one. And I'm gonna link you guys to that down below as well, because it is just amazing. And I've got my little shaboobles up here. Uh, what do we call these? Uh, also, um, both of my sets of extensions are from Bellamy, the blonde, which I have just like a couple pieces of blonde extensions in here. And those are, of course, the Guy Tang balayage extensions. And then I just have some black Bellamy extensions. My face makeup, where else would you put makeup? Uh, my face makeup, mostly I used the Sugar Pill palette, which is called um, something, something Valentine's Day. I don't, I don't know, but, uh, also 10 out of 10 do recommend that. My lippy is Valentine from, uh, Kylie Jenner. I had a brain fart. Um, my necklace, I think a Swamp family member made it for me, but I've had it for a thousand years. Very fashionable Fitbit and 
I'm obsessed with that lately. I think I've said Fitbit at least once in every vlog. You think it's sponsored, but it's not. Um, also, my dress is very classic black milk clothing. I really wish that they would uh, reissue this because I know a lot of you guys are gonna love it. And I'm pretty sure this was from at least one or two years ago. I love Vinnie Van Gogh. Me personally, I kind of hate like limited edition things because I'm like, come on, you know somebody's gonna find this dress four years later and then you're gonna have to buy it for $5,000 on eBay. What a bummer. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe you can find it on Depop. Maybe they will bring it back someday. Wouldn't that be a great day? Uh, also, it is a reversible dress and I've got shorts on, so. Ah, these are shoes. Uh, so this is from a new brand called Charla Tedrick. I hope I'm saying your name right, girl. I never know if it's Tedrick or Tedrick, but these can technically be bridal shoes, uh, but you know. I ain't no bride right now, so these are just shoes for my feet, and I like them. They have spikes, and you can see my tattoo. Hi, Al Swearingen. I really need to get this touched up. Oh, somebody help me, and I've got tattoo fever right now. I really, really want to get like about five. <laughs> this is from Doll's Kill, and it's relatively new, and I haven't put my stuff in it yet. Uh, so you might be seeing paper shoved inside of it right now. Uh, this is the bag that I'm going to be carrying today, but I haven't transferred all of my stuff. Is this camera on a tilt? I don't know, you guys. Uh, I thought we would hang out while I take all my hair out and rip all my makeup off. I honestly haven't had it on too long, but I've made like definitely one too many facial expressions. I really don't know how all these like girls guys on Instagram, everybody on Instagram, everybody on YouTube, like just has these like perfect makeup faces. And I feel like even when I try so, so hard on my makeup, I'm just like too expressive or something. I don't know. It just like always ends up like creasing and just irritating me. And then I just want to rip it off. I'm like, I love to apply the makeup and then like take 20 pictures pretend like I look like this all the time and then immediately like wipe it off. I'm literally like six years old. Uh, trying to take this off. Also, how do people function with nails this long? This is just like a costume that I like to wear sometimes, I feel like. Um, actually, truth be told, I would like to go swimming and relax and get a little bit of exercise and I can't uh, go swimming dressed like this in all this makeup. I mean, I guess I could. People probably swim with full faces of makeup on and long, 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 amazing talons. So I have gotten a couple of PR packages today, but we'll probably go through that later. I really don't know what else I'm gonna do today. Honestly, I'm probably gonna go dig through storage some more. I really feel like I've been getting a lot done and I've been clearing a lot of stuff out, uh, thusly taking a lot of things to be donated. I think I'm also probably gonna put some things on Depop just because it's fun for me, honestly. I kinda always wanted to like have a clothing store or something, I don't know. I just like the idea of like having a little store. I just always thought that that would be like a magical experience. Depop is actually kinda like an online garage sale. I mean, I feel like far and away, I donate like 87% of everything. Probably even honestly more than that. So you guys, here's kind of like a big secret. I don't even know if I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this, but it's just like weighing on my mind so much and I'm very nervous about the prospect of it. I'm also like very excited, but you guys, I'm strongly, strongly, strongly considering going on tour this summer, I think it would be. I've seen a lot of other people do it and it always looks like such amazing fun and I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. I would really have fun, I think, like making a show, doing a show. I definitely would probably like make mine more of like a show. I don't know. I feel like if I ever like did a YouTube Red series, okay, I know it wouldn't go this way, but if I ever did a YouTube Red series, I would totally want to do it like a more 
um, is elevated the word. I don't know if elevated is the word I'm looking for, but not just for kids, but like kind of set up like Pee Wee's Playhouse. You guys, honestly, I feel like I don't talk about like influences much or like celebrity influences or like celebrities that I admire, but I really think Paul Rubens is like a genius. Like 10 out of 10 is one of the top 10 celebrities in my life. I am a fangirl for Paul Rubens. I think he's amazing. I think he got like a bad rap. I don't know. I remember that was like one of the supremely upsetting things uh, that happened when I was a kid because I loved Pee Wee's Playhouse. That was definitely at that time easily my favorite show. And you know when you're a kid like you, you don't understand like I don't know, like things that happen in the adult world, I guess you can say. And I just remember that absolutely breaking my heart and I did not understand why, why my Pee Wee had been taken away from me. And I mean, still to this day, and I, I keep meaning to make the vlog about my top 10 movies, but I really do think that um, Pee Wee's Big Adventure would easily be like in my top 10 list. I watch it all the time. That kind of like energy and especially like if you ever watch Pee Wee's Playhouse, really didn't think that today's vlog was gonna turn into a an entire like my love confession for Paul Rubens. Um, but that show just like it's it, I still love watching even Pee Wee's Playhouse because even though it is like a show technically for kids, I feel like it does have like some tongue in cheek humor in there as well. That's like for the parents. Um, but are shows even like that anymore? I always felt like there were jokes in cartoons and stuff like Animaniacs. There were jokes in there that I did not understand, but like my parents understood. And I sort of feel like shows are not like that anymore. It's just like you have shows for kids and you have shows for adults and kids shows are not really like supposed to be entertaining for adults. Anyway, I feel like I can still go back and watch Pee Wee's Playhouse and just really enjoy like all of the energy and the imagination that went into that show and probably if you're not my age you're like what are you even talking about right now well you know what he just did a netflix show which i also loved i know some people didn't like it i of course loved it i don't know i just feel like kind of anything paul rubens does i'm just gonna like i just i sound like a really really i sound like i don't know I'm a stalker, surprise! Now it's time to take off my eye makeup and oh my gosh, you guys, I don't even remember who I saw do this tutorial on Instagram the other day, but I was like, <gasps> it was like life changing for me, but I used concealer as eyeliner today and I am loving it. And to do this look, I used the Makeup Forever. I think this is one of the PR packages that we opened last week, but I used the shade Y23, and it doesn't feel uncomfortable, it doesn't feel gross, and I love the look of it. I sort of feel like this is gonna be something that I'm gonna fall into this trap and do it definitely more than just this one time. I feel like it would be really cool to do like a very dark smoky eye and then use concealer as a liner. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Is that dangerous? I think you'd be okay because concealer normally goes around the eyes. I don't know. I know like some makeup you're supposed to be able to put on your eyes and some you're not. Hopefully my eye doesn't explode but I think I'm okay. I think as long as I don't think about it, I'll really be okay because I am definitely an extreme hypochondriac. This is why I don't wear makeup that much. You guys, I really wish I was like Sabrina the Teenage Witch and I could just like, bling, like take my makeup off. The process of taking it off is so incredibly irritating. So I think we're gonna cut this. This is not short. I've talked to you guys about Paul Rubens for nine minutes. There's no hope that these vlogs are gonna be shorter than an hour, so I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna go uh, thoroughly, thoroughly wash my face off now because this is just, it's burning, it's burning, it's burning my pupils. I'll see you guys later.